Welcome to Summon Awesome Games, I'm Rob. We're playing The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. We're going to get the Vermani Cow Mask and protect the ranch because it needs protecting. And a little Link here is the only one who can do it. So if you enjoyed this guide and it helps you out, be sure to leave a like. And if you enjoy it that much that you feel like subscribing, I will not stop you. I highly advise you do that. But here we go, Dawn of the First Date, 72 hours remaining. Now if you suck at this game, you can play the Song of Inverted Time, which is the Song of Time backwards. Uh, but first things first, we're going to get 100 bucks. So either go find a $100 rupee or get your grind on, or be smart and deposit your money in the bank. At least, you know, in this game it is smart to do that. Hey, what's up man? Speak to him. What's this? You need something? I'm going to withdraw some rupees. Excuse me, but let me take a look at you. He stamped our face or something like that. Oh yes, it's me. I have a lot of money. I will take 100 rupees. That's all I need. I'm not greedy. Ah, you're taking all that out? Yes, I am. If you like spending it, I will. We got 3,400 left in the bank. Plenty of dough. Now, go to the Goron village. So, you know, Song of Soaring, go to the mountain village, run to the Goron village, and we're going to head over here. We just come in the entrance. There's this area here. It's uh, blocked by ice. So you can either uh, do the spring thing, like, you know, beat the Goron Temple and go and make it spring and the ice will melt, or you can have a fire arrow and light it on fire. Now we need to be a Goron here. We're going to get the certificate to carry powder kegs. It's very simple. Uh, so once you're a Goron, if you head down here, you'll talk to this guy. He'll give you a challenge to carry a powder keg to the racetrack. It's very easy to do, incredibly easy to do, that I am not going to show you how to do it, because it's so simple. And I've already done it. But you'll get a ke powder keg, and then you can buy them for a hundred dollars, for a hundred rupees, or he'll give you one free if it's the first time you've been there, and you've got your certificate. Uh, but once you get your powder keg, very easy to do, just go there, you'll do it, I trust you. We're going to go to Milk Road, and blow up the big boulder. We want to do this on the first day. Or else we are not going to be able to do this whole thing. So let's do this. We're going to go here. And there's a humongous boulder blocking the path. Put there by some jerks, we assume. But there it is. This guy's picking away at it. Good work, man. He's the hardest working one of those dudes in the game. Everyone else is just walking around with planes and stuff. He's actually making an effort to destroy this thing. We're going to destroy it. We're going to put this here. I'm going to shoot it. I don't want to wait it out. So I'm going to take up my mask. Get my little bow out and uh, take aim. Not my ocarina. I want a bow. I want to fire at it. And kablamo! The path to Romani Ranch is now open. We're gonna go there. You get the uh, you get a whole bunch of masks here, but we're gonna focus on getting the cow mask or the Romani mask and just protecting the place in general because we're so nice. Kremia is right to our left there. I think her name's Kremia or Kremani. Let's go with Kremani. Uh, but we're going to go talk to Romani, who's just up here with her little ghost balloon. She's got her bow, shooting at it, ready to protect her ranch from aliens, believe it or not. Hey, what's up? Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given this name, the same name as the ranch. What's your name? My name is Rob, lady. Rob. Yes. That's a nice name, but how about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes, and you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. TONIGHT! They are coming. They are coming. Oh boy. Here we go. Aliens, or something. I assume they're aliens. They! They come at night. Every year, when the carnival approaches. They're carnival critics. That's why they're jerks. Look at them flying around in their little beam of light. Tell me more, Romani. Tell me more. Look at these little freaks. They look Scottish. They come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. Creepy music. Not the cows. And then they come to the barn. Maybe movie cows. Maybe don't put them in there. Put them in the racetrack or something just down the road. My older sister won't believe me. But Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Yes, I will. 
Great, now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay then, I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly. So hit them with arrows so they can't get in. Sound simple? You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Do not leave the ranch. That's simple. Very easy. Grasshopper, let's practice. There are 10 ghost shaped balloons in the ranch. So hurry and burst them all. If you do not do it under 12 minutes, you're out. The current record is a minute. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, girl. So, this is the easy way to do it. This is actually the final day. Uh, you can come back and do this as many times as you want. I'm going to show you, if you can beat this time, I'll be incredibly impressed. But I'm sitting here on this little hill, and you have unlimited arrows. So, I assume you can beat this time if you aim much better than me. I'm just going to spam arrows here. Uh, but this is, this is the easy way to do it. If you are struggling to get them in it, this is the best way to do it. Uh, you can ride around on the pony if you want. I mean, it's, it's a very easy task to beat a minute. You have to beat two minutes, but if you go for the record, you got to beat one minute. And there's another ghost down there. They appear as white dots on the map, so you can see the map, and the little white dots will disappear. Blam! There we go. Easy 10. I think that was like 36 seconds. Let's see. 36.47. Amazing! Uh, so that's the final day, but jumping back to current time, after you've done that little task, you two work perfectly together. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep coming. If they get in the barn, we lose! They run away at the first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep fending them off until then. Did you get that? Yes. The operation starts tonight at 2. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. So her sister doesn't believe her that this is going on, uh, but she's been living here for years. Crazy, right? Did you come from town? Yes. Then that means... Milk Road is open to traffic. Good, I can deliver the milk to the town now. You're welcome. Welcome to Romani Ranch. Chateau Romani's milk is fantastic, blah blah blah. If you wear the uh, Romani mask, you'll say, Hey, where did you get that? That's Romani mask. Only adult customers get that, but adults isn't really the right term. It's not based on age, but a person's way of thinking and acting. Hee <laughs> hee, someone... Somewhere there's a person who thinks of you as an adult. That's her! Time travel, baby! Alright. Here's little Romani. It's the first night. It's almost time you take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully, okay? Whatever happens, do not let them get to the barn. They'll come from behind the barn too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, we have crates of them near the house. Here we go. It is 2 a.m. on the first night. The ghosts are coming, or the aliens are coming, to get these cows. And we're going to stop them. So you can run around, you can ride a pony if you want. It's a bit trickier on a pony. On a pony. Uh, I want to show you a good little spot. So you can see them on the map. They're very easy to see. Uh, the white dots around the houses and on the edge of the map are the doors. So ignore them. But the little ones moving around, they're the ones you want to go for. So I'm going to put you in a little spot here. I'm going to show you exactly where to stand to make life easier. If you stand about here, we can just go ping, and we, we can see them all from here. We can hit every single one. So as long as you have a full set of arrows, and you not suck at aiming, you will be good. You don't have to worry too much about the ones who are far away. It's mainly the ones that are close. And the dog there will show you who is closest. He'll go to whatever one is the closest one. But make sure you're watching your map. And uh, yeah, like I said, set up here, and just stand here and fire arrows at all of them. You can see them all. You can even see the one coming down the back here. Easy. Shoot them in the head. You can see the one over here or everywhere. No matter where they are, you can see them from here. So, yeah. Stress less. I mean, you could stand on the box if you want. It's up to you. But if you want to make this easy, don't ride a pony. A pony may... Move. Just riding in general and shooting is probably not a good idea. Especially with something so stressful like this. And if you want to make this super easy, once again, you can play the Song of Inverted Time and it'll slow them down, but it'll also mean you have twice as long to do this. So where we're doing it now, at normal speed, you will have it at two times. So it'll be longer for you to do this, more of a chance to stuff up and forget, or just make it incredibly ridiculous easy, though it's not that hard. As you can see, we're just standing here. We've got plenty of arrows. As long as we don't miss. Blam! Line them up. Just keep watching your map. Here comes one. 
We're almost done. The sun is a coming up, and these little jerks will disappear. Blam! That was a bad shot. I'll, I'll take... I'll accept that. Oh, see, look, this guy's coming. Wait for him. He's the sneaky one. If you're an opponent, he's the one you always forget about. Can hit this guy. Blam! We're almost done. It's about to end. I think it's like 5.30 then. Any second. Ah, oh, it's about 5.15. We won! Hooray for us! We protected the ranch from aliens! Go back to space, you bastards. Alright, Romani, what do you got for me? Give me a high five or something. We did it! We won! I won. I don't know what you were doing. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Yeah, it's almost time for my sister to get up so I have to go back to bed. See you later, little hero. Oh, I will take that credit. I accept that. She did not take any credit, so that's good. So now, it is now the dawn of the second day. If we chat to Kramani, she has a little uh, errand that she's going to attend to. Kramani's going to take our milk to Clocktown. You're looking after the place. The cows will be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving at about 6 o'clock this evening. So you've got to be here at 6. So, it's now night of the second day, 36 hours remaining. She is here, hanging out on her little donkey. Hey, what's up, donkey horse? Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? Yes, I would love a ride. I don't need one, but I'm going to help you out. I'm going to assist you. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I will enjoy company. Watch out, Epona! Oh my god! Ah, she's gonna be coming with us now she's staying here bye Epona I guess it's been a while now since our father died oh that's sad I'm trying to take care of the ranch but things have been getting worse lately the cows always seem bothered and frazzled and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere what who's doing it I don't know my sister Romani has been worried too she's practicing using a bow she says it's to stop them Say, what are the townsfolk saying about that moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna kill us. You're gonna find that out. Don't worry about that. Unless I can stop it. In town, I have a friend. Her name's Andrew. Or Angie. Andrew. I don't know. There's a quest for her. We did it. It's her wedding tomorrow. Ah, oh, man. That's gonna be unfortunate. Unless you help them. I wonder if it will fall, that thing. Maybe. You never know. Is getting closer. There's that guy. He could help us. But he doesn't care. You should go home, man. You just, you've literally been standing there for two days now. The rock is gone. You have no purpose here. Oh, crap. What? The road. Boy, get your bow ready. Solid advice. I want to shoot some people in the face. She does not muck around. If anyone comes, kill them. That's what she's saying. Get that bow ready. We're going to shoot them. Alright, here we go. Oh, man. It's a trap. Totally a trap. Admiral Akbar will be freaking out right now. First milk road is blocked by a boulder. And now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Oh, man. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Yes! I understand how to do that. Thanks! I'm relying on you. If we get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Oh, here they come. Here come the ugly moes. They're like executioners with those mugs. Now, if you stuff this up, I'll be surprised. As we have literally unlimited arrows. We can just spam arrows. Look, just keep shooting. Don't worry about them. Just shoot them in the face. These are those uh, Luigi brothers. Just keep capping them. Look how easy this is. Ridiculous easy. They'll scream before they come near you. I think if they hit the cart four times, maybe five or six, you lose. But, I mean, it's pretty hard to lose, so you'll be fine. Unless you really, like, if you do not, probably if you don't shoot an arrow, you might 
you will lose if you don't shoot an arrow. I'll uh, just keep shooting them. They'll come up to the side of the, the uh, cart in a second. But that's fine, we can just keep capping them. Look, there's that guy. Even their horses have masks. Like, even their horses are goofy bandits. Well, she wasn't kidding about ugly country. Even the horses are ugly. I never noticed how ugly those horses are. I feel bad for them. Oh, he hit my pots. But we're free! We did it. Congratulations to us. We won. The ugly people will leave us alone. Now we get a reward. We get the cow mask. But of course, as you know, I already have that. So we'll get $200. Our share of the milk profit. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You are pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. 200 bucks? Oh, yeah. Until we play the Song of Time, it will be worth nothing. Unless you bank it. I'm sorry about giving you only this. You have the Romani's mask, don't you? It's proof of Milk Bar membership. Romani is a little expensive, but please try it. So we got the mask. Or we had the mask. But that's how you get the mask. It's just a little cow mask. You saw it before. I'll show you it again, if you want, because I'm so kind. So it's this mask right here. Romani's mask. And now you can go drink milk, like an adult. Right? Special move on these guys. So we'll push A, and then we get this. How cool is that? So cool. That's a good crowd clearer. Now, if you don't um, have magic 